Good morning, peoples! That's right, it's not a drive time rant, it's just a regular uh, car blog. Uh, yeah, anyways, car vlog. Uh, because a blog would be writing and a vlog is videoing, and that's what we're doing here. But it's not a vlog, it's just another video. I don't do vlogs, I don't do daily vlogs, I just do live, uh, live streams and um, regular talking. Uh, anyhow, it's a beautiful day here in, um, over this way, it's a beautiful day here in the D in Detroit. It's 31 degrees outside and uh, we're on our way to work. It's, uh, it's 7, uh, 47 in the morning and tomorrow, well actually tonight, it's, today is Saturday, so tonight uh, after we go to bed in the morning, it will spring ahead. Boing! That's right, it'll spring ahead. And you know what that means? That means that tomorrow, when I get up in the morning, it will be dark. How nice! How nice. There is a bill floating through of the Congress that's been reintroduced, I believe, that would make daylight savings time permanent. And uh, CNN.com has a uh, story with a uh, a graph that shows you uh, when the sun would be up and, and when it would go down and uh, and it has like a time on it and whatnot and I think that's pretty cool uh, that way you know if they do ever approve it how will it be and how will it be that's a good question so I was checking it out myself and uh, accordingly if if we did pass daylight savings time to be the permanent time and no changing anywhere in the United States uh, whatsoever uh, because you know different states have different rules about daylight savings time and if indeed we were going to, if we were going to go permanent that would mean that from the months of November to February you would get you know the sun may came, come up as late as nine o'clock in the morning, believe it or not. You'd get to work at eight o'clock and the sun would not come up for another hour. I'm like, whoa, man, that's like crazy, you know? I mean, they, I mean, the whole point, I know a lot of people, they point out to daylight savings time, they go, it's for the kids so that they can truly, for the kids, so, oh wow. So the kids can truly uh, be able to um, have that, uh, there's a car coming there. And um, uh, so they can get more light in the morning, which is a great, a great thing. But here's the other thing. If indeed, right, it, it's for the kids, right? Uh, also, a lot of farmers have said, well, that's how they get more day daylight in the morning time uh, and whatnot in the, in, the, uh, in the winter times, even though I don't know that anybody plants a crop in the middle of dead winter, just saying. So. This is what I'm saying. The other part, other than getting uh, the sun coming up at nine o'clock in the morning, uh, out of all the time, right? The other thing that would occur is that we would we would have more daylight. It would never be a day that the daylight would be less than six o'clock at night, which is really, 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 really great. You know, I think that that would be something that would be really, really good. And um, so that's, that's something I would say would be a, a positive plus in the plus can. Um, so, because I'm, I, I kind of like long nights, you know, with a lot of sunlight left in the evening time and sunsets and whatnot. And I think that would really make you feel like, like you have a lot of daylight. You know, you don't you don't think about the daylight in the morning time. At least I don't. There's some people I'm sure they do. They they really need the daylight in the morning time uh, for all sorts of things. But I'm a evening person who likes to you know we go to work at eight o'clock in the morning and we get off in the evening time and we want to have that extra daylight to do things. I don't know. And it definitely would change if you if you changed it permanently. I think it would definitely get people out of this 
the problem of having their uh, circadian rhythms, I think that's what they call it, or their patterns of uh, habitual patterns that would definitely change. So, yeah, I think that's, it might be a good thing. I'm sure there's lots of arguments to why we shouldn't. And I think that's going to be have to be argued out in Congress again. And uh, it's always been the, uh, the debate since it probably ever started, you know, uh, as being a thing. Um, so that's what's happening tomorrow. And it'll be interesting. Uh, it'll be another change here. Uh, and also, it, you know, March 20th is the, the official first day of spring. Uh, Pakistani Phil was correct. We have had uh, six more weeks of winter. It's been snowing quite a bit here in Michigan. And I'm sure other places it's been just as bad. So they've had, we've had a lot of snow all over the place. And Poxitani said that uh, pa Phil, the Poxitani Phil said that we would have six more weeks of winter. And for sure we did. It's interesting. So um, he was he, he was right this year, and it's dragged on. I and, and you know no matter what Poxitani Phil says, I mean because you know you got to remember this part, right? Poxitani Phil, uh, he says six more weeks of winter. Well, that's exactly the same amount of time it takes to become spring. So <laughs> you know what is what when he says that? What does you know? Uh, spring will come soon. Does that mean we'll have spring weather before actually spring? Uh, because the date of spring does not change no matter what Fox Honey Phil says. I'm just just putting it out there. Uh, yeah, Phil does not change the dates of uh, when when the uh, when the spring actually happens. Uh, I do I do agree that uh, spring could come, uh, you know, spring weather could have arrived earlier, and that would have been nice. But then uh, we could have said that, uh, you know, it was just uh, one of those things, those uh, things in weather, you know. But anyways, I, I digress about that and say that uh, it's been feeling like a long winter. And even though that spring here in Michigan is the March the 20th, and we do have, and I look on some trees around here, uh, I think because it's been like this, uh, kind of a mild winter uh, in the 40s and 50s, uh, every so often, that we do have uh, the, we, we do have trees actually do have buds on them, and some are pretty large buds comparing to other buds. Like, uh, I'm not comparing buds, but any, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so, so yeah, there's, uh, the trees have buds, and it's like they're just waiting, waiting, looking like they're waiting to bloom. And so I think that, you know, last year we had a lot of, uh, last year we had a lot of, um, of stuff that was, that was happening, uh, that was, we had a lot of trees that bloomed uh, later than normal. Oh, I don't know about late, you know, I think this is going to be an early blooming season. Uh, you know, I think we're going to have a lot of trees that are going to be uh, blooming here in the month of April instead of waiting until May or later in April. I think this is going to be really, really, a really nice spring. Um, and I think that we're going to uh, have a beautiful uh, April. And I think even before it gets, I don't, I don't, you know, who knows? I mean, I'm just hoping that way. I'm, gonna, I'm being optimistic here, you know, I could do that. I'm being optimistic that we're going to have a really nice spring and it won't be too bad. Anyhow, anyhow, I'm trying to get through this traffic here. It's like everybody it seems to be going the same, the same speed and uh, trying to pass somebody is, is crazy. So anyways, thank you for my small commute. It was a very small commute today. I had to get to work very quickly, but I did not speed. Uh, it just, just the way it is. I don't live that far. And uh, I'm glad that you were able to come with us along with the little short ride. Remember, we have, uh, we have decided to uh, 
show you our little furry friends who are in a lot of our shorts. So I'm glad that you're uh, enjoying them. We're going to make plenty more shorts with our furry friends. And for that, we'll uh, we'll have a great. You guys have a great Saturday, and uh, we'll see you really, really soon. And uh, remember, set your clocks back, and make sure you're not you're not late somewhere on on Sunday. That's right, on Sunday. Have a great one. Bye bye.